I don't like victimhood. I don't think we need to be in victimhood. I think we need to flip it around. Like I study a lot of law. I've been working on equity law and getting us out of poverty consciousness, getting out of actual poverty and really flipping the narrative of acceptance. Like I accept that my reality is my projection. I accept that what I see in my world is part of my creation. I have responsibility here. It's not anybody else's fault. It's not anybody else's thing. Nobody did a lab leak to hurt me. It's nothing like that. Why we got into this position, why we're here now, is because of ignorance and neglect, right? And not being able to achieve our spiritual maturity so that we can take full responsibility and change things from within so that our projections on the without also change. So I feel like all these people and gatekeepers and stuff, they're part of our creation. (laughs) Like there is, so I stopped hating on them and blaming them and doing any of that because it's not helpful for one. They're people too. Like they have their beliefs and their blinders and their issues, right? So just try to bring compassion into it a little bit and try to look inward and go, well, how can I now take charge of my life and how I see the world? rather than, oh, I'm going to go to an outside authority that's going to tell me what's happening. You know, that's fear-based. That's like a damaged inner child will do that. They don't know what's up or down. They need guidance and help. And they're in sort of this free floaty place. And we need to get grounded inside of ourselves. And it's only as accepting. It's all our fault. It's my fault. I did it. You know, that ownership is really empowering. Even though it's not, you could say it's not my fault, somebody else did it. Why did we get a pandemic? Why did we, why are we getting locked down? Why are they taking away all the goodies from us now, all the privileges? You know, why are they trying to put us into 15 minutes cities? Why is this all happening ultimately? I mean, from the real baseline truth of it, it's because we've allowed it. It's because we haven't done the inner work. It's because we're paying debts with the debt. We're not even understanding our fiat currencies, that they're debt. They're not even money. They don't have any value. You know, we're, we have systems in place where we can actually settle the debt with offset accounts to our bond, you know, and we're not using it. And it's there. The method is there. I've been using it with success. And other people have been using it with success. So we're at a really cool place in our history where we are seeing through this crap. And those of us who are taking full responsibility for whatever we're seeing in our external projection, we're like, no, I accept. So I get a bill in the mail. It's like CRA and Health Canada always try to, you know, trip me up. So I'll say to them, oh, yeah, like I totally accept. Thanks for the presentment. That's the bill. They give me a presentment. Get, when they when you get a bill in the mail, it's been paid. They're actually telling you it's been paid. And then we go and pay it with fiat currencies. It's like dummies. No, you actually say thank you for the presentment of the evidence that you paid from my account. I will sign it for you so you can settle your accounting. And you give it right back. Just signed and dated. The end, right? And they're supposed to actually do the, that's what we hired them for. That's what they're there for, to do the accounting for us to hold the books in balance for us. So we now have to train our administrators how to do this process. And that's why the corruption has happened. The corruption got in because of, ooh, we can take advantage of these suckers. Everything they're doing is illegal. Did you know that? Illegal (laughs) what they're doing. We could all together today, we could, if we had enough people come together today, we could put a lawsuit and shut down every bank we wanted to, if we wanted to do that, because everything they're doing is illegal. And we have that power and we're turning things around now. Ooh.